All right, Jordan, thank you. Residents in the town of Amherst are still digging out this morning. We're joined now by Patrick Lucy, the Amherst Highway Superintendent, for an update on the roads in the town of Amherst. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Patrick. Um, you know, yesterday we know you had some problems during the day. You were getting those front loaders into your town. And what is an update overnight? Do you have a percentage of roads that are, you know, at least have one pass through them? <clears throat> yes. As of yesterday, uh, from the weekend, Sunday uh, mornings when the snow stopped and most of Sunday, Christmas Day, our crews were working obviously all day. By Monday morning after the, uh, the sun came up, we had about 80 to 85 percent of the roads open, okay? <laughs> our, where we're focusing on now are the courts, the dead ends, the hard to reach areas that only front loaders can clear. And because of our limited supply of front loaders, and we did actually rent uh, quite a few to augment our fleet, but we have so many courts, hundreds of them, that it's just, it's taking time to open all of those. Do you have any idea when it will 100% be finished? I know a lot of people are, are wondering that. We'll have every road accessible today. There's no question about it. A person will be able to drive on their road by, you know, sometime today. Uh, <clears throat> now it's just canvassing what we could have missed. Um, and then we're going to get in there with all of our equipment and we're going to have everything open. Certainly, uh, like I said, right now we're at 90 to 95 percent of our roads are passable by a motor vehicle. Um, today, everything's going to be. Uh, barring some type of possible emergency, uh, a water break or something of that nature, but it will not be snow related. All right, all right, good news there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, explain, you know, the issues you guys had and how many front loaders do you guys have on staff and then how many you had to bring in and rent from other areas? We currently have six and for the history of Amherst, that is more than enough for an for a winter of anything. Okay, a storm of this magnitude, you know, could you have enough? Probably not. And would it be worth it? You know, yes, it would be for what we experience. But most of the time, they would be sitting in my garage, useless, because we just don't have the use for twelve or fifteen of them. Yeah. So this is why we went out. We rented. At one time, we had 13 extra high lifts on the road, uh, thanks to uh, the county executive and their uh, system. They uh, helped us out. They got us, you know, some contractors to uh, get the rentals in with us to work with us, and it helped us tremendously. We also reached out to the Stone Quarries County Line in New Enterprise. They have those big monster high lifts, and they were invaluable. Uh, they helped us out tremendously. They're still working for us today. And now we're going to uh, see if we can move some of our resources off to the city of Buffalo again once we're caught up and we're just going to take care of our roads. All right. Patrick Lucy, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it. Good info there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 745.